So now I brought up the CV cleats by me. Probably, uh, like I realized this like in a lot of soccer games, like uh, when you need to stop and tie your shoes and it can cause a lot of problems. Like this video that Alessandro showed me is Roberto Carlos, I think. Um, it was a World Cup, like a match, like to go to the finals and stuff. And he had to stop and tie his shoes, and it was a free kick. And see, that took it. So then, um, since he stopped, the guy who he was supposed to mark started running, and then he scored a goal. So then they got eliminated because of him. So um, if you don't like, if your shoes are tied, it can cause a big problem. Alternative. Uh, if you want to buy my product, you can buy the rubber band that goes over the laces, so they want to tie. You can tie your shoes harder, or buy cleats that after you tie. Can, like put a tongue over pros and cons. Pros is that they're cheap and cons um they're hard to put on, they get dirty, your shoe starts getting tight and they break after the time you this in life is better than any other cleat because you just push a button and it tightens your foot and with any other cleat you need to tie your shoe but then they can untie in the middle of the game and that can get annoying. I should have said I was selling all soccer stores because that's where people buy their equipment. Price. I asked people how, for how much they would pay, and they said for $100 to $200. I would personally sell it for $200 because an original cleats cost $100 to $300. And then I'll stop inside it, and my cleat will have a stop, like the release of the Superfly. And the technology that it takes, it like, costs money. So I think $200 is a good price. Promotion. My promotion is a good, it's going to be a commercial billboard and internet ad so people can recommend the product and buy it. Thank you and soccer rocks.